What is going on everybody and yes, 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 yes. Six Rings of Steel is here with a realistic My League My GM series. I did ask you guys on Twitter if you'd be down to see one here on the second channel, but you guys said yes. So I gave a poll between the Suns, Bulls, Pacers, and Knicks as what teams we could do. Like Suns, they're on a rebuilding year, but they're they're like one of the best young teams. And I want to throw one of the Western Conference teams in there. The Pacers, complete rebuild. I was gonna trade Paul George. Bulls, I was gonna trade Jimmy Butler. But most of you guys, or the highest percentage of the vote, I'll try to put the, if I can remember, to put the poll on the page or on the screen now. It was the Knicks. You guys want to see me do the Knicks, especially because I'm a Knicks fan. You guys want to see what it, kind of I would do with the team. So, yeah, let's get into it. It's going to be a very hard rebuild. You know, we have the Joakim Noah contract, the Courtney Lee contract, um, a huge need of point guard. Uh, we really don't have a shooting guard. And also... Carmelo Anthony, are we trading him or we're not? So, we're going to see um, here, Rudy Gobert wins Defensive Player of the Year. James Johnson, six man. And also, yeah, if you guys want to see more, just smash the thumbs up in this video. Just smash the thumbs up. It is new. Like, I haven't done one of these My Gym series or My League series in forever. So, I'm actually super excited because I, I really like realism. Um, yeah, I enjoy realism. Um, I don't do it on my main channel because most people don't like to see realism. And they like to see me do crazy trades. So, here's for my uh, like my realism fans. So, also, this is also going to be like kind of your guys' support too. So, if you have an idea, a realistic trade I can make, let me know in the comments. A realistic signing, realistic drafting player let me know in the comments as well okay so yeah um let's just say with the finals we know what happened um i think i'm gonna do the draft lottery here and we're gonna go up to the draft and i, I want to get your guys opinion like who should we draft um i have a couple guys on my radar um we're gonna see how the draft lottery pans out first so no nicks are retiring which is good um hall of fame paul pierce okay no nicks no nicks um league meetings let's see number of fouls required before a player fouls out to five hell no uh increase the shot clock to 45 seconds no the top two picks are done through the lottery no um offensive defensive key violations will be changed from three to five seconds what uh actually no we're not gonna do that hosting season ones are bonus now we're gonna do any of these but usually during the regular season guys i will be playing a game at the end of the episode but it's not gonna be like a full game it's gonna be me going in the simcast and playing the fourth quarter of a game kind of if you guys are real fans of me you remember my bucks pistons lakers my gms from 2k 16 and 15 mostly 2k 15 that's how i'm gonna be doing this um we might implement a um expansion team next offseason but not for this one so I'm going to go over to the roster in a second, but why not? Let's just get right into this draft lottery, and then we'll see what we're going to do with our coaching staff and stuff like that. So, draft lottery, this is going to be big for us. Um, I'm going to go through the whole suspense with you guys. If we're going to get lucky and get out of the top seven, but if we're at seven, not going to end or not going to be the best in the world. But I could just talk about this team. So, Derek Rose, contract up. I plan on letting him walk. He usually asks for about 25 mil. Um, I'm not giving him that. We He's just old. He's not going to be content, or he can't be a championship point guard starting at this day and age of his NBA career. His knees are blown out. He would be a great backup, like a really good. He could honestly be maybe a starting point guard if he was like the fourth or fifth option in the lineup. But we need our point guard to really step up. So, um, yeah, so that's kind of what point guard. Um, Chase and Randall was not really good for the Knicks, but I might keep him on the team to be a backup. So that's what we might do with him. Shooting guard, um, we have Justin Holiday, who I love. I plan on him being a 7th, 8th man next year. Definitely getting him minutes. Um, and we're coming up with our pick. Courtney Lee, I don't want him to start. That's why I kind of want to go for a shooting guard here in the offseason. But we're going to see what we're going to do with him. Um, our pick's coming up. But Mello, I need you guys to know. Should we do a Mello trade? Because if, um, if I want to... Damn it, we fell to 8. Oh my god, okay. We fell to 8. We kind of got screwed over here. Okay, um... Damn, so this this is very unlucky for us. So I was saying, Melo, do you want me to trade him to the Celtics, the Thunder, the Clippers? I'm going to explore all options, but I'm going to take the most realistic one if we're going to trade him. Personally, as a Knicks fan, I don't want to trade him because I think the Knicks can honestly contend for a championship if they do the right things in the offseason, and it all starts with the draft. Um, I guess we're just going to simulate here. So the Kings got the number one pick, and they'll also have number 10 from New Orleans. Sixers get two, and they get five because of the Lakers pick. So that's just going to make our division a lot harder. Celtics get four. Um... But if we were actually able to get into the top three, I was going to explore options for trading that pick for Jimmy Butler. Yeah, I was going to explore that. So head coach Jeff Hornacek's contract's up. If I could find him, I'm going to give him another one-year deal. Because this was he was kind of put in a bad spot with this team. Uh, where the hell is Hornacek? Did he just like give up on the NBA after coaching with the Knicks? Did his experience go that bad? Um, well, let's find Hornacek real quick. But um, there he is. Okay, I'm going to give him one more. Wait, what did I just offer him? I just, I just offered him the wrong deal. A scout. We need a scout badly. Um, hold on. So scout, what are we looking at? Uh, Nathan Brady looks like a B. So if we can lock this guy up on a four-year deal, that'd be cool. 
Um, we need an assistant GM, uh, David Vincent. Yeah, I'm calling this a my GM because I really would love to do my GM, but you can't do start from the NBA in my GM. Unfortunately, we also need a good CFO. All right, so we get all that. Um, okay, so we get these guys. Cool. So yeah, that's why we're doing a my league. Um, Hor uh, Brady, we're definitely signing. Okay, it was a one year deal to Hornet check any exception. So it's a one year prove it deal. If we do well, we're gonna bring him back next year. But if not, he's gone. He's gone. Um, so yeah. We're gonna go to um okay, so we're done with staff signing, which is cool. Um how many days are I don't even know. But let's go to Jeff Combine. We can see guys I am targeting. Um I'd rather just go to this to the pre-draft workout. So guys I am targeting. Point guards. No, 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 no. Hold on, hold the phone, hold the phone, hold the phone. Oh my god, okay. That almost turned it up at or turned up at I forgot you have to implement a draft class, thank god. I did that. Um, because if I simulated another day to the draft day, we would have been out of luck. And I would have had to restart this whole video and have been a waste of like my eight minutes that I did recording this. So yeah, let's get back to these pre-draft workouts here. Um So point guard, I am gonna look at a couple. Lonzo and Markel, I know will be gone, so I'm not even gonna waste it on them. So we're gonna go at these three. Frank Nantilica, who honestly might be the pick we're gonna take. He's a 71 overall, but he's a um a development guy. And if we went to draft him, I would probably decide to trade Mel because if he's a development, 71 overall, it'll probably take two or three years to get, like, in the NBA. He's a project. And Melo, this is his last year, so I want to get something for him. Um, If we take De'Aaron Fox or Dennis Smith, it'll be something different. And we can try to go for a win now next year, but we'll see. So I'm going to scout out those two guys Um, for point guard. Shooting guard, I definitely want to scout Malik Monk. If he does fall to us, that would be great. I'm also going to scout Terrence Ferguson from Australia. Um, just in case it's a fallback option, or if we decide to trade down in the drift, which could always be possible, and we can maybe accumulate more picks. Small forwards, I am going to look at Jonathan Isaac and OJ uh, Anun OB, I think that's how you pronounce his name, from Indiana, and Justin Jackson. I plan on Jackson, or Josh Jackson, and Jason Tatum both being gone at our pick. So Josh Jackson, if we wanted to trade Melo, he would not be a bad project. He's a 6'10 athletic freak from Florida State. I'm a UNC fan, so I got to see him a couple times last year. Um, because they're both in the ACC, so it'll be interesting there. Um, on to power forwards now. Harry Giles, not going to really look at many. I am going to scout out one, though, and that's Warren Markinen. He's projected to go 21, but if we were to move Chris up to the 5, he'd be a great replacement to put him at the 4. And centers, just a terrible center class. I am just going to scout Justin Patton and Jared Allen. I actually have one more left. Um, I miscounted before. So, we're, just in case Jason Tatum falls, we'll scout him out. So, Jared Allen has an injury, so yeah, we're, we're not going to risk it. We're probably not. We're crossing him off our boards. But yeah, let me know in the comments who we should draft, guys. So, um, who was the best shooter of this team? Like, standing shot three, Malik Monk, Malik Monk. Malik Monk's a shooter, guys. Malik Monk is a shooter. If it were the fact that Malik, Mel Malik Monk fell to us at eight, and Smith and Fox were off the board, and Ball and Fultz, I think I would have a hard debate between Monk, um, Jonathan Isaac, and Frank Natilica. But... We're not there yet. Okay, so we're here at the NBA draft. Um, I'll go over a little bit of the team before I end the video. So, Chris Oswald is the future of this team. We want to make him happy. I might experiment him at the 5 next year, but we're going to definitely wait and see on that. Um, Melo, I talked about him. We might trade him. We not. We might not. It all depends on how the draft goes. Derek Rhodes, this is his only season as, as a Nick. I'm not bringing him back at all. Billy Hernan Gomez, I am so excited. He'll start the season at the starting center. I plan on giving him a full season. I might move him to power forward and move Porzingis to the five and try to do something like that. Um, but it might it, it's an experiment. Kyle O'Quinn, I might honestly try trading him for another first round pick or second round pick in this year's draft. Loaded draft class, we have a log jam at center, so he might be a expendable piece on the last year of his deal and only making four mil a year. So it's not that bad. Um Joakim Noah is getting paid way too much money, but no team's gonna want his contract. We might release some um, something like that maybe next year, but we have to live with this contract. He'll be the backup center next year. Courtney Lee, also, his contract might be expendable maybe towards the season if he can prove himself as a good backup shooting guard. His 11 million isn't that bad if he can prove to be a good shooting guard. Because his three points not that bad, and he's a great defender. So, um, I don't know why it's B, uh, C+. Plus. It should be, it should be at least a B. But, yeah, um, like I said, Justin Holiday, I plan on him giving him minutes next year. If we don't decide to get a shooting guard in this year's offseason, we would start. Holiday would be the backup. Um, and Dugas Kuzmik is actually an athletic freak for a 6'9 white guy from Lithuania. Um, he will probably be the backup power forward unless we find something different in free agency. Uh, Lance Thomas, I don't like it all. He's making six million for the next two years. No one's probably going to want him. He's, when you watch him play, he's just an awkward guy. He literally is just an awkward basketball player, and he's not that good. Not going to be, help us win a championship. Marshall Plumley as a free agent, I don't think I'm going to bring him back. He's from Duke. He was supposed to go into the Air Force, actually. 
Uh, Ron Baker, he did show some flash last year. I'll probably bring him back on a deal. Um, and he'll probably get some garbage time minutes. He might play a little bit if an injury happens. Sasha Vujovic, you're gone. I'm not even looking at you. Um, Maurice Endora, I do like his hustle in real life. But if we just have a log jam at power forward and he'll be the third option, maybe he'll be like the 13th, 14th spot on our team, but nothing drastically big. And Chase and Randall, I plan on bringing you back. He'll fight with the backup point guard position in the um, offseason because I plan on signing or drafting a point guard no matter what. If we draft Mar like Malik Monk or small forward, I'm going to go heavy at Drew Holiday, George Hill, and free agency. But if we were to take a point guard in the draft, he'll probably start as the backup point guard next year. Um, I think that was it for this um so yeah i'm actually like i really want to get your guys opinion on this so i'm probably gonna upload this tonight um probably go up around eight o'clock eastern time let me know what we're gonna do because i'll probably record episode two maybe right after this like 10 after i get you guys opinion or maybe tomorrow so definitely let me know who we should go after in the draft um if you want to give your free agency thoughts um, because I don't know if we're going to do free agency in the next video as well. It might just be the draft, and then we'll do free agency the day after, or something like that. So, yeah, that is going to be for me. Thank you all for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. Just leave a like if you want to see more Knicks, my GM, and let me know in the comments, like I said, um, some draft thoughts. So, yeah, uh, that's going to be for me. Love you guys. Um, And, yeah, just support the series, and I'll come out with it hopefully daily if you guys support it a lot. And I'll see you guys next video. Peace.